on an epic oceanic adventure in Bulwark Falconeer Chronicle, a sandbox colony sim set in a post-apocalyptic world on the Great Ursi. In this video, I'm going to be giving a full review of the game, ranking it from decaf to fully caffeinated. And if you're interested in other indie game reviews, be sure to subscribe to the channel for reviews, recommendations, news, and more. Without further ado, let's grind this game down and see how it feels. Bulwark Falconeer Chronicles has a really immersive world that captures you from the first moment. All of the narration in the game is fully voice acted and it is incredible. You really get a sense of what is going on and who the characters are based on the incredible acting. The story is interesting and it's told through this narration, through some cutscenes and actually through the world environment itself with different ruins and buildings and things that you can see throughout the sea. This game definitely takes a dark twist on kind of a pirate theme and it really captures the dark and mysterious side of the ocean. The world is beautifully constructed, each faction having clear styles, personalities and characteristics and you can tell a lot of thought has gone into constructing all of the lore in the game. It's not a locked in storyline per se, it's very open-ended, very explore at your own pace, but there's still a whole lot of story packed in there. So for story and world building, I'm rating Bulwark Balcony Chronicles as juiced. Bulwark is definitely a game that is hard to learn, but easy-ish to master. You start off with a small settlement and you need to construct resource harvesters to allow you to gather resources to upgrade your buildings and construct new ones. Each resource needs a form of transportation. So you need to make sure that it's connected to a path to the rest of your colony or connected by your trade port so that your resources can be carried by a ship. You have a limited number of starting captains in your fleet and each of these captains transport different things. So you have to be pretty strategic with which captains you assign to which trade route. You can add more captains to your fleet by exploring and interacting with any ships you come across, but they are still semi-limited. So it is really important that you're strategic with where you place your captains. As you explore, you'll come across refugee settlements that can be acquired and the building salvage for materials. These refugee settlements add to your existing colony and provide your workforce. You'll also find other settlements that you can establish trade with via trade ports, but you do need a trade port for each route. So if you want to have two different routes going to two different places, you need to have two trade ports. You can also declare war against different settlements, which can lead to a whole lot of combat. The combat in the game is relatively simple. It's all kind of automated, so you don't need to make any decisions apart from whether to retreat if you choose. But it could be compared to combat kind of like a risk, and it feels like if you have more numbers, you'll probably end up being successful. If you are successful and defeat an enemy settlement, you can force them to surrender and then take over their buildings. This is pretty much the only way to get new harvesters so you can expand your resource collection. So it definitely is an important part of the game. This game is really big on strategy and not necessarily the in your face kind. Exploring is probably the most important thing you can do as it allows you to gain ships and take in refugees, which really grows your colony. The controls of the game do take some getting used to with the mouse buttons functioning as your main controls. But once you get your head around it, it's actually a really great system. I do wish there was a way to deselect everything so you don't accidentally build things, but overall they're pretty solid controls. I didn't come across any bugs during my gameplay and it feels really smooth and great to play. It's definitely a game that can be quite challenging to grasp the concept of in the beginning, but the more you play, the more in love with the game you get. So for game mechanics, I'm rating Bulwark Balcony Chronicles as two. The graphic design of this game is absolutely stunning. They've really managed to capture the moodiness of the ocean and establish a whole world with attention to detail that is next level. The voice acting is amazing and really brings the factions and their personalities to life. And the soundscape is hauntingly beautiful and really immerses you in the game. All of the design elements work seamlessly together and you can absolutely tell how much love and passion has gone into the creation of the game. So for graphic and sound design, I'm rating Bulwark Balcony Chronicles as fully capped. Bulwark is definitely one of those games that feels completely unique. The building system is unlike other city builders as it's a sandbox mode requiring you to have access to materials, but not necessarily requiring set amounts to build things. While it's definitely a city builder, its focus is more about optimizing pathways and trading routes for efficiency rather than gaining wealth. The game really provides some unique mechanics and while you could draw similarities between it and games like Sid Meier's Pirates or Sea of Thieves or other oceanic themed games, its take on this theme is focused on the dark side of the ocean and they've done it in such a unique way. 
So, for originality, I'm rating Bulwark Balcony Chronicles as fully capital. Bulwark Balcony Chronicles is a game set on the mysterious Great Ursi in a post-apocalyptic world that pits different factions against one another. The mechanics are totally unique and feel so different to other city builder games, and when paired with the incredible game environment the graphics and sound create, you really are transported to the middle of the ocean when playing. We've ground the beans, we've carefully weighed and pressed the grinds, and brewed this game down. Now it's time for a taste test. Bulwark Balcony Chronicles is juiced. Bulwark Balcony Chronicles is available on PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series S and X. You can find more information all about where to purchase it in the description below. I hope this video has helped you get a little bit of insight into what this game is about. Let me know if you're gonna be playing this game. Until next time, stay caffeinated.